All right, it's gamer time. It's time for hardcore gaming. Uh, welcome to the stream if you're in the chat. Uh, if you're not in the chat, well, don't not welcome to the stream because you're not in the stream. You know? <laughs> We're playing Toho Luna Nights. Uh, we're gonna be playing the entire g this just got out of early access and we're gonna play the entire game all in one go because I feel like it and it's pro and from what I played when I was in early access uh, this game isn't that long to begin with so it should shouldn't be too hard and I've played the first three levels so should be able to get through this without much trouble anyways. Oh, I saw my save data. I'm going to start a new file, though, because I want to start a new game. This game is really good. Uh, Y'all should go buy it. It's pretty good. It's like $15. This is a Toho Metroidvania where you play as Sakuya. And if you don't know, she's the maid lady that stops time. And it's pretty cool. Uh, welcome to anybody who's just joining. We're playing all of Toho Luna Nights. All of it. Anyways, the plot of this game is you get put into a virtual world by... That's a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. You get put into a virtual world by Romelia, and that's that's basically the plot. They didn't really <laughs> make a plot. They're just like, hey, we're gonna do the thing. One moment. like pretty much just hey I made this game play it that's what the plot is <laughs> anyway we're gonna start now I don't need to read tutorials because I already know how to play the game I say that as I forget. What button is the attack button? Hold on, I'm gonna rebind this. I don't know why it undid my binding. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. So well, this is a game where you have control over time. It's pretty cool. This game also has grazing. That's pretty cool. This is actually a really cool Metroidvania. Everybody should go check it out. I don't think I have my uh, dashing yet.
This is how you save the game. I'm gonna... Eh? Yeah, I don't have dashing yet, I guess. It's been a little bit since I played this last. When you graze enemies or bullets, you get like. Hi, Krom. Welcome to the stream. Oh, crap. When you graze bullets or enemies, you get MP back. It's pretty cool. I can't get out of here, I don't think. I need to go back. Welcome to the stream, Crumb. How you doing? That's good. Welcome to the stream. I probably said that already. I have been pretty good. Right now, we are playing all of Toho Luna Nights. It's a Metroidvania where you can stop time. Yeah, this is- it's a fan game, basically. So basically, uh, if anybody knows Toho, feel free to correct me on this. Basically, Toho is basically public domain. And th what that means is that anybody can make a game based off of Toho and be able to sell it. Which is pretty cool. And so that's what this is. This is a game ba not made by the creator of Toho, but it's made based off of the Toho series. And yeah, that's why you see so many of these games, even on like Switch and stuff, seeing the games being sold for money, even though it's based on Toho. Like, you can use the characters, the setting and everything, but the assets gotta be your own, or something like that. I don't know if there's anything else- there's like, Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes is public domain. Anybody can make a story that has Sherlock Holmes in it. Because it's public domain.
I can now stop time. Zawalud. <laughs> So this is Dio Brando the video game, if any of you, the people in the chat know JoJo. How long is this game? I think it's like four or five hours. I might be wrong on that though. I keep forgetting that enemies respawn when you enter a room. <laughs> and like, this game's combat just feels really fluid, it's really nice. I have played- I played this when it was in early access. And in early access, it took me around two hours to get to the third level. And I think there's like five or six levels in the final game. So. Because of that, I think it's not going to be that long to finish. If it takes too long, though, I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> but it shouldn't take that long. Yeah, there's a lot of grazing, like, if you get close to an enemy or bullet, you get magic back, which is pretty cool. Cause that's like, reminiscent of how it is in Toho. And then you've got a bunch of like, time stuff that you can do that's really cool. You just destroy enemies. <laughs> If you like the movement tech now, wait till we get like the the dash upgrades and stuff. If you can't tell, this is a Metroidvania, by the way. Level up. Look out for the sands fish. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It has really cool mode 7 tech that it uses. That makes it look really authentic. I believe there is a thing here. I was right. I can't get it right now though, I need the double jump. It's sands. It's the sands fish. <laughs> I mentioned playing this game. I haven't beaten it. I played the beta and I only got halfway through the game. Because there was only three levels in the beta. 
This is the full game now. And now we get these. Now we get more movement tech. When the game released, it came out four days ago. It's on Steam for about $15. And it's pretty good. I guess because the pixel art style makes it kind of look a bit old. Yeah, it's a really good game. <laughs> it's okay though. I saved. Now I'm leveled up again. Let me get through here without taking damage. Uh, one thing I thought, I was worried the game was going to be too easy the first time I played it, because uh, you can stop time, and that kind of makes a lot of enemies very weak. Aw, <laughs> oh, crap. No, don't. That's a lot easier to avoid when you have double jump, but I don't right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Individual enemies aren't really supposed to be a threat. And in addition to that, the bosses are really hard. And... The bosses are really hard, and they introduce a bunch of new mechanics that makes the levels challenging. Yeah, like, when, it, when you get down to it, it's actually very reminiscent of Bullet Hells. With, like, how weak the enemies are, but how strong the bosses are. I'm gonna go this way. I wanted to get that fast travel point. Yeah, it is very reminiscent of a bullet hell game, if a bullet hell game was, uh, a metroidvania. Especially with, like, grazing and stuff, that's, like, that's the real, really cool stuff. Is being able to graze bullets and stuff. Hello.
Oh, I forgot. You can just push start to skip cutscenes. has polish. Everything's just really good. And now I have red key. I really wanted to talk about this game. Or I'm not talking about it. I really wanted to put this game on my 2018 list of best games, but it technically didn't come out until now. So it's technically not a 2018 game. I didn't get hit there, that was weird. <laughs> Contact, yeah, that'll make sense. Um, I don't have eight thousand, so I can't get the knife upgrade yet. Yeah, but you get more than that. You get way more than that as you go on through the game. I missed. You can make it, you can make the can land in the, in the <laughs> trash can. I am trying to throw away the can, because it's a thing that you can do. It's just finicky. I'm gonna do it. Look, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> there, I did it! <laughs> I don't know if that does anything, it's just turned the can green. That's funny. <laughs> it's a slam dunk. <laughs> the time stop mechanics are easily the best time stop mechanics I've seen in any video game, to be honest. Like, seriously, any video game do doesn't come close to the time stop mechanics that this game has. Like, it's pretty crazy now, but in t <laughs> wait till you see how you use the time stop in the bosses. It's actually kind of crazy. Time stop mechanic is that having it in a video game 
really only works if the entire game is designed around it. Because otherwise it's like either broken or janky. This cat's life ends in two seconds. <laughs> Got it, second try. Anyway, we're gonna do the boss now. Never mind. No, I am right, okay. We're gonna do the boss now. Janky? Yeah, what's wrong with the word janky? Yeah, it's not it's not that bad of a word. Let's do this. I was not prepared. I am dead. Maybe don't run into the enemy a million times. This is not my first playthrough. I mean, it's kind of my first playthrough. So, I have played the beta of this, which has three of the six levels. So, I'm playing the entire game. I've played the first three levels, but past that I have not played.
Got him. Yeah, the bosses are a bit tanky. <laughs> They're kind of like Dark Souls bosses, to be honest. That's what they feel like. With their massive health bars. Yeah, that is true. The boss needs to retake you when you control time. And we have level two. Very Toho enemies. <laughs> oh, it's the bony boy. <laughs> oh, free. I got bones. Maybe don't run into the giant knife. I say as I run into the giant knife. Character looks standard. Uh, the main character is. See, this is based off of an existing game called Toho, if you don't know. And the main character. It's, it's the character from that game, which was originally a boss, and then became a playable character. Welcome back, Chrome. You get to see me do this now. Oh, 
Nice. And look and fail at it. <laughs> yeah, they are mandragos. It's not a carrot, it's a man <laughs> mandra mandragora. I wanted to do a cool pose. <laughs> oh, I got pranked. Now I have double jump. I am playing this. <laughs> Yeah, I should just be what I keep running out of time gates, that's what keeps happening. I already have it. Right, because I walked by here to save. Now we can double jump. That makes a lot of bosses a lot easier, and it makes movement a lot easier. You know what we gotta do now. Got it. <laughs> I like how your double jump isn't a double jump, you just jump off of knives. Yeah, the true challenge comes from trying to make sure you don't litter. No litter run. <laughs> I wonder if you actually get all of the can the cans in the trash. I wonder if there's like a unique thing that you get for that. I gotta wait for my time paralyzed to wear off.
What? Practice environmentally responsible habits to unlock the ultimate ending. Oh, I'm running out of time, that's why. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, get hit, that's what I'm gonna do. It's tight timing, and if you move into the red fog... Uh... And if you move into the red fog, you're gonna lose all of your time. There you go. Yeah, I probably could have been double jumping over the fog. I have like two health. This is not ideal. Sweet. All right, at least if I, actually I'm just gonna die and regain all my health now. What do levels actually affect? It affects how long you can stop time and how and how many knives you can throw. And it affects stuff like HP and all that jazz. And the higher level you are, the better upgrades you can get. Why do I keep running into these? That was all three of them I ran into. I am bad with carrot. All right, now here's a gimmick that they, the first a gimmick. These objects move in stopped time, which is pretty cool. It doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't say why they move in stop time, they just do. That is cool, it's a cool mechanic. And then later you get stuff like enemies that move in stop time, and that's pretty crazy. Oh, I found a secret area. Oh, heck up. What did I just get? <laughs> Chainsaw. Okay. Wait. How do I swap weapons? I don't think I have that button bound. I don't. Okay, I can just throw chainsaws now. That's nice.
Oh, I'm not going in here yet. <laughs> I don't think I can get up here yet. I guess I'll go do the boss then. Anyway, this this is where the game is where stuff gets real. It's not breaking in. If it's not breaking in, if you ask for permission. But yeah, it is Marisa. <laughs> I just borrow things permanently. <laughs> Anyways, this boss is really hard. It's like such a big jump up from the first one. Anyways, I might die. That's the coolest move ever. I love that so much. She did say that. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh my god, that does so much damage. It's like the coolest move ever in a boss fight. That actually did hit. Yeah, 
have to do like, like, when you get into the later bosses, you have to do all of this really cool weaving while you're in stop time. So you have to like... <laughs> it's really cool. I do not want to get hit by that laser. That laser does like a million damage. Yeah, it's a really cool way to do progression rather than like just straight up. Oh, you have better stuff now. It's just giving you more combat maneuvers. If you think this is crazy, wait till we get the upgrade that lets you step on knives and stop time. That's when stuff gets crazy. <laughs> so yeah, in this game you're always getting new maneuvers that you can use. Which makes it feel kind of more like a Metroid game than a Castlevania game. Yeah, really, you really gotta think about how to maneuver these patterns. That was a really cool move, I just think. Ah! <laughs> Thought I was gonna die. No. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I was so satisfied to finish with the chainsaw. I remember- yeah, I have- I've played Hollow Knight, it's really good. I may not have time stop powers, but I do have chainsaw. This game's dialogue rating is really good, which is something that actually isn't that common in Toho games. Usually Toho games don't have very good writing. <laughs> I have yellow key now. Yeah, part of that, I think it's because, uh, instead of translating this game, I think they just, you know, actually wrote and like tried to interpret what they were trying to say rather than what they actually said. I guess it's just that it's not that Toho has bad writing, it's that Toho often has bad translation. Toho is that game that's known for being the game that you have to look up what the metaphors mean. <laughs> Cause they'll like weave untranslatable Japanese idioms into their <laughs> into their dialogue, and they won't make sense no matter what you do.
Uh, <laughs> I just got destroyed. No. The knife, you mean the double jump? Yeah, the double jump d does damage. Pretty much all of the your maneuvers are just knives, so. Uh, they all do damage. Like for here, if I do this. That'll do- I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does do damage. Not more carrots. I'm gonna get killed by carrots. Hey, time gauge, time gauge point max. I'm just gonna. I'm just sliding. I'm just sliding. End me. I'm at the second boss in one hour, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you're familiar with Toho characters, you'll see a lot of familiar faces in this game. You also recognize a lot of the music, you know, when it's playing. Cause it's all remixed Toho music, it's great. Well that's fine because uh, this game is primarily based off of Toho 6, which is the one that everybody knows. And it has all of the popular characters in it. It's actually not that hard to get the games now that they're just available for download online for free. I'm gonna go back to here so that I can get an upgrade. Cause there's an upgrade you can get once you get the double jump. And now we're destroying this area with all of our upgrades. It really gives you a good sense of progression. This is the wrong direction.
I think your knives also do more damage after a while. Now there should be an upgrade in here if I remember correctly. These enemies are really strong. Really tanky. There we go. Now I have more knives. Yeah, they do have a lot of health. It's not really worth actually... It takes too long to get rid of them. It's more... It's a better idea to just run away. We now have more knives to throw around. I'm um, rude. But is it enough knives? It's never enough knives. Now here's the next gimmick. These objects only move and stop time. Which is a pretty cool mechanic. It's like reverse. It's like reverse. Yeah, it is kind of easier to control. These guys are annoying because they take away your time stop powers. It's not very cool. Very uncool. Now we've got enemies that move when- only move when time is stopped. Enemies that move during stop time, enemies that only move when time is stopped. It's all very cool. Now we've got the <laughs> grip knives. Now you can stand on knives while they're... <laughs> I'll show you how this works. So, if I stop time, throw a knife, I can now jump onto it and use it as a platform. <laughs> if that's not the coolest thing in a video game ever, I don't know what is.
I just gotta be more patient and wait for my time to s Give me this. Now I can stop time for longer. Yeah, I just gotta be more patient. That's all, really. Both guys need to calm down a bit. Trying to brute, yeah. I gotta, I gotta be more elegant, like a maid. <laughs> I have to take it more slow. Forgetting about the ah. <laughs> okay, I was just making sure I still had that. Oh, I'd... what I don't have. Got to put the can back in. Okay, we're good now. The well, knife in the back. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I'm becoming like a pro canner. Some of the <laughs> some of the enemies are forcing me into <laughs> some of my some of the enemies are like forcing me into making more risky moves. I'm gonna go check if I still have the, the watch upgrade. I do not. They don't even give you gems. 
There's like no reason to fight them. I did it. Luckily, these guys only paralyze you. They don't actually hurt you. One HP. I gotta just go slow. Just go slow. Yeah, just don't get hit. Drunk it here. All right, we're good. Ah, uh, oh, I thought there were three actual enemies. <laughs> Now I just have to get hit even less. No. I didn't think about doing that. that I <laughs> Please. How rude. What rude little boys? Gosh. 
I was I was looking at chat. Oh my god. There is a thing. Your time stop does regenerate more when you're standing still. You can also get time gauge back by grazing enemies. Magic yeah, just don't get hit. How do you get HP back? You can do this. But also by drinking HP things and stuff. But you can also buy uh, healing items and stuff, which I should probably do. I suck. I'm going back the other way to see if there's a soda machine. Yeah. Okay, good. I should have done this before. <laughs> The worst enemy because they waste your time because then you got to st stand still for a while I want HP up why do after images persist when time is frozen? I don't know. That's a good point. Maybe they, yeah, maybe they just actually clone themselves. Now I get to wait through this because you can't skip it. Until now. We are good to go. There was a save point right in the next room where I died. <laughs> I just had to not get hit. Ooh. <laughs> okay. 
I got, I got 1,000 daggers. Oh, wrong button. It's, uh... That's a lot of lo knives. I can't decide which I like better. Do I like chainsaw or one thousand knives? <laughs> you count it. are not cool. I'm not a big fan of those enemies. It's a very cool one. Let me in. <laughs> Underutilized chainsaw because it goes in a path that I haven't put time into learning. That's probably true. Actually, ah, it might actually be pretty good here. enemies can be avoided with careful movement. They're too tanky and reliable. Yeah. Hard jump to make. There you go. Oh, there's an area over here. There's an entire area over there. I don't want to go there yet.
I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't know why stopping time gives you the ability to walk on water, but that's a thing. Weight doesn't have time to... I guess that makes sense. 